What is going on guys, Jack of the Zombie here and we are back on my bed in my room with another unboxing video. And this one's going to be a little bit more pricey than the last one that I did for the Elgato HD60 Pro. And um, when I say a little bit, I mean three times the amount. Um, one of the boxes, I will go ahead and say, it's an unboxing video still, but this box, box numero uno, which I'm going to turn it this way because my address is on the other side. Um, this box is already opened and I did that because I had these items shipped to my work and I have three items that were supposed to be coming in. Two of them said shipped, the other one did not, so I had to try and see which one had not quite arrived yet and we got that guy too, so it's all taken care of. But I'm not going to actually unbox this guy because it's already unboxed, but what we have in here is... Boop! An MSI Z97 gaming motherboard. And uh, one thing I would like to mention about this is it is an LGA 1150 socket. Which, if you guys know me at all, I, I'm an AMD guy. But this guy, I had to pick it up. I had to see what it was all about. So we got this guy and um, let's let's pop him open. Let's just take a quick, quick peek at him real quick. If we can pop this. Boop. Boop. Pull it out. Pull it out. Let's do it. I want to show you guys the actual motherboard. See what it looks like and how pretty it is and why I fell in love with this thing when I saw it. If we can get this out without sticking a tape to everything. Boop. And. Oh. So this thing is actually quite a decent amount larger than uh, the motherboard that I currently have, which is the um, Asus 970 Pro Gaming Aura motherboard. It's an AM3 chipset, and um, I'm using the FX processor, but um, I had to figure out what this guy was all about. And what we have going in that is uh, actually the first Intel CPU that I have ever purchased. And I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. Maybe we can get a good angle on there. It's an i7-4790K CPU. It is a 4-core, 8-thread CPU clocked at 4 gigahertz stock. Um, currently what I'm using is an 8-core, 4 gigahertz stock CPU. It's the AMD FX8350. I do have a slight overclock on it to... Uh, that needs to go away. Um, a slight overclock it's at 4.2 gigahertz I had it to 4.4 gigahertz but there was some issues with one of my games it wasn't quite stable enough and I wasn't gonna keep playing with it so we let that one go and I just brought it back down to 4.2 but if we get onto this other box here this one is not opened because I knew exactly what was in it due to the fact hi you are so cute due to the fact that it was the only thing left for me to uh, receive. <laughs> Boom. We have the M9 cooler from, what was the brand on it again? Cryorig? Yeah. So it's the Cryorig M9 cooler. It is a uh, stay, just a CPU cooler. It's nothing super, super fancy, but also nothing super basic. It's uh, pretty decent. Boop. There's a peek at that guy. If we can get some good light in there. Can we get a focus? There we go. So, it, I mean, it's a pretty decent looking cooler. I think it's a uh, three contact heat pipes. Boop. Yeah, three heat pipes. So, the one I have now is four, but it's also for a lot higher TDP of a uh, thermal design powered um, CPU. Because uh, the one I have now, I believe, is a 125 watt. And then this one... I think sits around 95 if I remember correctly. I'm not I'm not super positive on all of the specifics on it, but let's get her together. Wait! There's more! Almost forgot about this. This wasn't part of the unboxing because it did not come from the Amazon.com. It came straight from Best Buy. I have actually purchased my first ever solid state drive. It is a PNY 120 gigabyte solid state drive. And I'm going to use this as my new boot drive instead of the 500 gig regular HDD that I have been using. So, let's get it together. Oh baby. I, I seriously cannot show the inside of my case enough. 
I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so in love with the way this has turned out. I've put years and years into this thing, and it just looks great. So you can see the uh, Cryorig M9i cooler is definitely spinning up and looks nice and pretty on there. The MSI motherboard that I've just installed, of course, has the red accents on it. You guys already saw that, and then up uh, right there. That guy is the uh, PNY SSD and everything is just tucked away nicely, but let's take a quick run over to the computer here and actually see how the benchmarks look. For the complete PC benching part of my tests, I'm using a program called NovaBench, which is freeware that tests four key parts of your system, RAM, CPU, GPU, and your storage devices. I ran it with AMD's FX 8350 first and got some pretty decent numbers. However, once I threw it up next to the results from the Intel i7-4790K, the difference between the two was pretty incredible. Response from my RAM increased by 16% overall. The i7-4790K itself scored 29% higher than the FX8350. My GTX 1080 played much nicer with the Intel chip as well, giving a score that was a whopping 138% higher than with the AMD chipset. And finally, switching from an HDD to an SSD, or solid state drive, gave a nice 115% increase in drive speed. At the cost of size, of course, but since I have multiple drives in my computer, I don't see that as too big of a loss. For the actual in-game scoring, I used a benchmarking feature that comes with Far Cry Primal and found that to be pretty fitting since that is my main game of choice at the time I'm making this video. The FX8350 didn't do half bad on highest settings and definitely held its own during the benchmarking. However, at no surprise to me after the last set of tests, we again saw a decent sized boost coming from the i7-4790K, having a 45% increase to minimum frame rates over the length of the test. We ended up with a 55% jump to average frames, and the max finished strong with 72% more frames at its peak, adding up to a total of 55% more frames being rendered by the i7-4790K throughout the test compared to the FX8350. Both of these CPUs have a very strong standing in the gaming community. That's not part of the debate here. The debate is pretty much down to is the amount of performance you get out of the i7-4790K worth spending twice as much as the AMD FX8350? That's really nothing that I can weigh in on. It's, it's a matter of opinion. Frankly, I don't think it is, but um... I'm sure as hell not sending it back. 